Hi VC, uh, today I went to a meeting and ended up after the meeting doing a bit of crate digging from Raves from the Grave, great little record store, very nice chap there gave me this at a decent price to complete my box set of Nick Drake compilation and uh, it's playing now. I'll just turn that then. And I picked up some other items that I'm actually collecting. Uh, all of these are on my want list and found them there. The most expensive was 12 quid which was a Peter Hamill. Um, so I'll just show you these and uh, keep this video short. So um, first off managed to get Hall & Oates War Babies. Love this record. Um, produced by Todd Rundgren. Uh, play it loud it says. Typical Todd Rundgren. Always puts a lot on vinyl so needs it played loud because it's recorded pretty quiet. There you go, look at that. That's an original. Very nice. One of my favourite. I love early Hall & Oates. I like quite some of the latter Hall & Oates, but the early Hall & Oates is superb. So very pleased to have that. And that's still in shrink. So, uh, great find. My piece de resistance, which is Peter Hamill in camera. Absolutely love this album. Only have it on um, CD. And this is an original Charisma label, large hatter, which I think that's a small hatter. I'm very pleased to get that um, for my Hamel collection. Bit of a grotty inner sleeve, but I can sort that one out. Very pleased to have that. Bit of ring wear, but you know, it's great. One that I've been looking for for some time. So this original here, I've managed to get for the same price as the re actually the re-release is about 20 quid in the UK. Smith's Queen is dead. Had to had to pick this up. Gatefold. Absolutely fabulous album. It's got the original inner. And um, unfortunately, can't read the name on it. Keely Urch has got him written on it. But only on one side. And it's fairly clean, it smells a bit musty, but it looks clean. So I'm very happy with that find. Oh, she's got them written on the cover as well. It's really annoying that when people do that. There we go. I'm very pleased to have that. Depeche Mode, Violator. Been trying to get hold of this for some time. Got it on uh, CD. I've got some of the earlier Depeche Mode on vinyl, but not this one. It's a bit dusty, a few fingerprints, but it's a clean copy. So on mute. Very happy to have that. As you can see, it's fairly clean. It just needs a bit musty. In fact, all the Records there, a bit musty. They all need a bit of a leaving out for a bit. But uh, very pleased to have that with the inner. Five pounds I got that for. An old might be looking for for some time. One of my favourite Jackson Browns, The Pretender. Uh, this is an American copy. The guy had just dropped in a whole box full of uh, albums. It's still in the shrink. Uh, very nice thick card sleeve, 
um, guy who brought in his wife is um, American, so uh, he's got a lot of American albums in there. Had two lovely clean um, Queen albums, Queen 1 and 2, but the guy wanted 18 quid for them. I could have probably got them for 15 pounds each, but it was too much. Clearly they have a cat, I can see cat hair on this, but other than that it's really clean on the Asylum label, one of my favourite labels, so just love this album, except for Linda Paloma, I really don't like that track, but the rest of it, it's a stunning album, I'd have left that off, but there you go, it's choice, and uh, really, really nice. Very nice indeed. Really mint condition, just looking at that. Really mint condition. It says Caldor G Department 702. I don't know what that means. It's some sort of import sticker, maybe. But this is definitely none such records. 962 North La Canigo Boulevard, LA. So pleased to get that. And a classic that you'll all know. Um, be looking for this for years. A clean copy. Tubular Bells. This is the absolute original. Matte sleeve. Pretty. There's a bit of uh, sleeve come unstuck there. I can fix that. But this one is on the multicolour two virgins. And it looks mint. The good thing about Tubular Bells is a lot of people didn't play it very much, so uh, it's on that lovely Virgin label, 1973 original, absolutely great actually, it's a, I lie, it's a fourth pressing, fourth generation pressing, I'll have to check that out, anyway, very pleased to have that, they had another one in there but it was on the green and red virgin with the line through it so I didn't want that one and he gave me this for uh, three quid so very pleased to have that to say it's the matte sleeve non laminated um, fabulous in glorious stereophonic sound so very pleased so nice little nice little haul um, until next time, I'm going to do a few themed videos um, looking at my uh, porcupine tree and Stephen Wilson related stuff. So uh, I'll be doing that later on in the week. Interestingly, from a Rizzler packet, there's only 10 left. Um, they used to say five leaves left. Which is where the title of this album came from, this Nick Drake album. So quite interesting. Wonder if he'd have called it There's Only Ten Left. Which is still a good name for an album. So uh, clearly people smoke more now because it reminds you when there's only ten left. Until next time, take it easy, bye.